It's a voice that demands to be heard. And after 10 years, Celine Dion is finally bringing it back to Australia. Every time we went to Australia, I feel like there's like something very similar to my own country. Um, the energy of the people, the kindness of the people. Is it true that you still do your sound check to oh, Thunderstruck? Akadaka? Is that true? <laughs> it's true. It's a it's a <laughs> but you've got rock and roll in that. Oh, I got can rock and roll big time. I mean, I love ACDC for a long, long, long time, for sure. We all do. But, but John Farnham for me is one of my very favorites. You're the voice? Yes. What an entertainer. What a great looking guy. What a voice. What a song. It, I love that song. You need to get him up on stage when you're in Australia. Is he going to come? I'm sure if you ask okay, him... Okay, you're invited, you come. F come on, bring your family, come. That would, be am that would be amazing. There you go. It would take one phone call to John. <laughs> oh, oh, we're not gonna live in silence. We're not gonna live in fear. Oh, 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 oh this time. I mean, <laughs> you I do love, love that song. him so bad. A childhood star in Canada, 1991's Beauty and the Beast took her global. How old were you when you discovered you had this incredible talent? I'm still looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never really did. I was, I climbed on a kitchen table, I was five years old. The chandelier was my, was my spotlight. And I don't remember coming back down from that kitchen table. Celine spent most of the 90s at the top of the charts. For the power of love. And of course, that song. My Heart Will Go On sold more than 15 million copies. All up, Celine Dion has album sales pushing 250 million. Her list of awards is unrivaled. Two Oscar-winning songs, five Grammys, seven AMAs, just a few of the hundreds of awards she's received spanning her prolific recording career. Come over here, this will take you back. I'm gonna travel back in time a little bit. You have more than 40 albums under your belt. What we wow. see here is this growth of this beautiful young girl into a woman and everything in between. How does it feel? First of all, very emotional yeah. because I see my childhood. Yes. Is, is this your very first, first one? Yes. You're yes. 14. Wow. I still have my baby face. And look, I did the eyeliner inside of my lid. But would you Isn't want that it sweet? Would you want it any other way? No, I don't want to change anything. Because that's the thing, 14-year-old girls now, they're so Instagram ready. But that's there's a beautiful innocence in that. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 vintage. <laughs> that's you and me, both girlfriend. I'm vintage. <laughs> so I'm worth lots of money, so respect, huh? <laughs> R-E-S-P-E-C-T! Behind her all the way, Renee Angelil, 26 years her senior, first manager, then husband always the love of her life. Renee came into your life when you were 12 years of age. Was his impact on you immediate? I fell in love with him immediately. When I say I fell in love with him, or met, not in the romance way. I was 12 years old. I was in love with him for the way that he treated everyone around me, including my whole family, myself. You, you kept the relationship quiet for a period of time. Were you concerned that people would put two and two together and get five about what had gone on? Yeah. I was very concerned because as a performer, especially a young performer, I needed to prove to myself that I could do this career. When I started to be a young teenager, 
15, 16, 17, I was like, I'm starting to feel love. My mom was traveling with me till I was 18 years old, everywhere. So she had to deal with me, who had eyes only for Renee. And having 14 children, she saw it coming before I did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but she always kept an eye on him. Right. Because it was not the person that she wanted for me. And I don't blame her. I said, Mom, I, I was, I really, I really love him. Like, it hurts inside. I, that's all I think about. I, I really, she said, he's been married twice before. He's got children. And I don't think that that's the, Prince of Charm that you deserve. Celine and Renee shared their first kiss during the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest, which Celine won for Switzerland. She was 20. Six years later, they were married. He taught me everything. He's the only man I've seen, he's the only man I've loved, and I've never kissed another man in my life. And the love story is now incredibly well known, which is why fans went on that journey with you through Renee's cancer, both yes. bouts of cancer. Yes. For three years my husband did not have a sip of water and food. He was eating through a tube. The only thing that I hoped while his three years of agony, I wanted him to live in peace. I wanted him to feel so light and no worries. He had a little heart attack, it's so quick. He didn't even feel anything. I thought that he was like liberated from his pain. It's been two years since Renee passed. Yes. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. And he's um, as alive as he was before. Not physically with us, but um, I live with him. I see him every day through the eyes of my children. Renee's passing leaves Celine raising her three boys alone, 17-year-old Renee Charles and twin seven-year-olds Eddie and Nelson. Have you surprised yourself with how strong you yes. are through all of this? Still, still today. In perhaps one of Renee's greatest professional gifts, at the height of Celine's career, he arranged a Las Vegas residency at Caesars Palace. It was a gamble that proved to be a masterstroke. Before Celine, Vegas had a reputation. Elvis, Sinatra, Liberace, it was where performers were put out to pasture. But with the most successful residency in history, Celine brought a revolution to this city and it's never looked back. Britney, Cher, Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars all followed the Vegas trail blazed by Celine's record-breaking residency, estimated to have made well over half a billion dollars. This is the Vegas Coliseum, built just for Celine's show. It's here she's done more than 1,000 performances to more than 4 million people. Celine is credited with creating more than 7,000 jobs and pumping more than $100 million a year into the local economy. With the city so close to her heart, last year's shooting was heartbreaking. On Sunday, we lost too many beautiful, innocent souls. It's hard for me to be the voice as an artist that's on the strip almost every night performing and try to tell the people that we cannot live in fear. This is society. But given the gun laws in this country, are you ever concerned about being out in public with the, the laws the way they are? When I walk on the street, I don't want to be scared. I don't want that fear to be transmitted to my children. I want to see positivity 
and as the laws that they impose on us, whether I agree or disagree on, I, I, I don't allow them to make me a prisoner. If I need to go somewhere, I will. And it's that defiance that has kept Celine at the top for almost 40 years. The fact that I've been an open book all my life, I've been criticized. You, you, that, that's the business for to be criticized. For the movements, the dress, the, the way you sing. Are you good with that? Are you good with criticism? I just look at the pictures they chose and they always choose the worst ones, so I go, fine. Yeah. <laughs> Vanity Fair recently declared you a fashion icon. Really? Yes, Thank you absolutely. so much. Do you get fun out of fashion? Oh, it definitely. certainly looks it from the outside. Definitely, because it's like borrowing a character. To be Freddie Mercury for a moment, to be Michael Jackson for another one, to come with like a see-through, not too see-through, but kind of like edgy gown. To try to have fun because you cannot take yourself seriously. I've been in show business since I'm 12 years old. I'm gonna be 50. And I've been doing sold out shows and touring all my life. And I'm not afraid to take chances because at the end of the day, do you think that I have anything to lose? Am I building a career? Am I starting something? No, I'm on a roll. Thank you!